Greetings and thank you so much once again for giving us the opportunity to come your way. This week we've been talking about what time is it? Encouraging us to keep this important truth in mind that our times are in God's hands and our God orchestrates times and seasons in our lives. And it is our responsibility to recognize the time and the season God has appointed for us and to journey with Him appropriately. Today I want to highlight the fact that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as He walked on the earth, He also ordered His life according to the timings of God for His life. You know, the Lord Jesus at an early age, perhaps he was 12, made the statement. He said, I must be about my father's business. It seemed like at that early age, he recognized that he was here on a heavenly assignment. He was on an assignment given to him by the father. And yet, we do not see him until the age of 30 actually stepping out to do that assignment. Why did he wait so long? You know, today, when pe people are in their early 20s, they're all ready, ready to go, ready to do things. But very interestingly, Jesus waited. And the only reason we can see in Scripture is that he waited for the Father's timings for his life. We can say this when we look at John chapter 2, where Jesus was at a wedding with his mother and other people around him. And Mary said, you know, turn the water to wine. And at that time he said to Mary, my hour has not yet come. John chapter 2 verse 4. He says, my time has not yet come. The time for him to begin displaying the mighty works of God. But it at that very moment, although the scriptures don't state it, it's very likely the father spoke to him and said, now is the time. Because right after that, Jesus turns around and tells the people, fill the water pots with water. And then the water is turned to wine. To the very moment, he said, my hour is not yet come. The father said, now is the time. And he steps out and he does his work. So this teaches us something very important, that we must learn to be sensitive to the timings of God and be yielded to the timings of God. Don't try to run ahead of what God is doing in your life. Recognize it and you go with God according to the times and seasons He has appointed for your life. The problem with many of us is we look at what others are doing. Somebody else is in a different season and you want to be like them. But that may not be for you for now. It may be for something God has appointed in a season up ahead. So don't copy somebody else. Learn to walk with God according to the times and seasons He's appointed for you. Remember, if you and I humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, He will exalt us in due time. God has His due time for you. Wait for it. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help each of us walk a yielded to the times and seasons you have for our lives because you know the best time for each of us in jesus name amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org